Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Burf. And I'm back again with another epic vintage toy hunt adventure, except instead of hitting up thrift stores looking for vintage toys, this time we're gonna go to where I know the vintage toys are, Jaden's Vintage Toys in Plano, Texas. So we're gonna head that way and see what kind of goodies he got. And maybe I can find something cool to add to the collection. I was talking with him uh, through Instagram. I DM'd him and said, hey man, I wanna come over there and film. And he said, great. He goes, because we got some more vintage toys in, more than uh, was here the last time you were here filming. So I'm excited. I'm really excited to see what he's got on the shelves and what I can pick up to add to my own collection. Check it out. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. All right, guys, I am at Jaden's Vintage Toys in Plano off of Parker Road. What's the address here, man? 6405 West Parker Road. 6405 West Parker Road. Next to Papa John's. Yeah. We're still waiting on our sign. <laughs> <laughs> he just uh, just told me that since the last time I was here, which, you know, last time I filmed here was like two weeks ago. He said he's gotten a bunch more like random vintage toys. I was kind of like looking through some of this stuff right here and uh, it looks good. It looks good and tasty. <laughs> so we're gonna dive into some of this today and maybe get Jaden to show us a few things. I don't know, maybe he's got some grails hiding around here or something, so. But let's check it out. Still have that Eternia play yeah. set. Where oh, is yeah. it? Did I show you the, um, did I show you the box? G1 Forks Max. No, uh-uh. Look at no, that. Okay. Oh my. I've never seen in 11 wow. years one walk through the door. Wow. I've never seen any Fort Max walk through the door, to be honest with you. Dude, that is amazing. When did you pick that up? Last week. Wow, the guy just came in here and sold it he to you? He came in with his childhood G1 collection that was all loose. Yeah. And then this. Wow. Pretty did, awesome. did you buy all of it? Like all yes. this loose stuff too? We usually do. <laughs> Cause it's kind of hard to decide what is not it, to buy. Is it like sealed up in Jeez, there? There's a $25 price sticker on this. That's mm, not correct. No, I'll, I'll take it right now. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it right now. <laughs> it's overpriced. Jaden's is overpriced. It was 25 for a G1 Fort Max. Right. It's complete and mint in there, but look at the back artwork. I've never seen the box. It's wow. beautiful. Yeah, that is super cool, dude. Wish this tape wasn't all over the box, but I inside know, there, know, it's, right? it's white. Like, Why do people do that? <laughs> Probably somebody's mom. <laughs> right. Not a collector. <laughs> and then you've got parts of Eternia here. Yeah, and I brought even more. There's some that aren't parts, but you can see some gold pieces. Um, it's not complete, but I haven't gone through that yet, but a lot of the parts are in there. Oh, wow. Dude, that is cool. I've never seen one in person. And do these arms, like, actually... Oh, wow. Look at, oh, yeah. There's, like, yeah. little little levers here on the side. Yeah, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to break it. I wanted it as a kid, never saw it. I don't remember ever seeing. I don't ever remember seeing. I don't even remember seeing this advertised on TV. To be honest with you, when I was a kid, I mean, it might have been, but I don't ever remember seeing it. I didn't know this actually existed until about four or five years ago. <laughs> yeah, it's so cool. I definitely never had it as a kid. And this here looks like um, how Snake Mountain looked in the cartoon. Yes. And that's why they did it like that. Like the right side is supposed to be Castle Grayskull, and the left side is supposed to be Snake Mountain. Oh, and so this is supposed to be Grayskull. And the middle part of the palace. Yeah. Wow. Very nice. Look at all this. Check this out. Wow, that is massive. Oh, wow, pretty sure that's the Keaton Batman, right? Yes. Yeah, that is the Keaton. That is really nice. What do we got down here? Oh, it's uh, Power Rangers. And then we got some, got some Lego over here. We got an X-Wing and we've got Slave One. Looks like some Star Trek stuff back here. Oh, the Dukes. That's a nice piece. 
Bo and Luke Duke little figurines. Got some pa Cabbage Patch Kids. Still in the box. And it looks like we got some Exo Squad over here. Some more Transformers. Oh, whoa, look at that, dude. 650 big ones. Damn! Oh, check it out. Sergeant Slaughter on card. Oh, look at those primes. Oh, wow, we got a terror drum. Biker mice from Mars on card. Look, Dinobots. Okay, cool. Is this a is this a Beast Wars? R.I.D. R.I.D. Okay. It's got six modes, one including a hand for some reason. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> I really wish I was making that up. <laughs> that season was weird. Oh, look at all these down here. exclusives and stuff in there. Oh, okay. Uh, we've got a Ultra Madness from the Earthrise. One that I didn't actually realize they did was Earthrise uh, Double Dealer, which okay. is kind of cool. Nemesis I, Prime. I haven't seen that one before. Um, that box that was labeled Spoilers. Okay. Um, that was what that was. Oh, okay. Um, really cool. Yeah. Did not realize that that was going to be that expensive, though. <laughs> What's it going for? Um, one forty, one fifty. I was seeing was one fifty to two hundred. Wow. Online, so I'm kind of regretting not picking up the ones I saw on clearance. <laughs> <laughs> Stretch Armstrong. Oh, we got a dock off down here. Oh wow! Remember those? Yeah, I remember the visionaries. I never uh, saw really any of the vehicles or anything like that. Yeah, same. Wow. Is that one complete? I think so. Yeah, it's cool. It looks like it. Yeah, it has the. Yeah, it even has the, uh, hologram, the hologram emblem on there. Yeah, cool. that is real cool. Oh, you got a crash test dummies car? Yeah, it's definitely not complete, but it's just cool. Yeah, that is super Never cool. Never had that one before either. It even has an airbag in it. <laughs> oh, check out this robot. It looks like something from the. 70s or early early 80s maybe yeah, it is. you know this peewee herman well actually this one isn't the same one i have i have a smaller one but he's uh -huh. decent anyway I, I bought it on facebook marketplace three days before he died Ooh. and i got it for 50 bucks and Ooh. then i went and checked ebay comps after he passed away and they were like people were like selling it for like 180 i, <laughs> I was like wow I actually need this. I don't have the missile launcher. And we got some TMNT. It's funny that uh, that raft right there, it was at Goodwill in a bag and I missed it. And one of my subscribers pointed it out to me and said, Burf, you missed the turtle raft thingy, whatever. And uh, sure enough, I went back and looked at the video and there it was, I didn't even see it. I didn't, I thought it, I honestly, it's funny. I thought it was a donut. <laughs> I thought it was like a kid's teething donut. <laughs> Cause it was in a bag with a bunch of like, you know, kid stuff, like little baby stuff. Oh wow, look at that big old turtle. I like this little vehicle down here too. Oh, we got wild weasel and a Cobra Rattler. this either the guard tower there's some tiger force 
the whale snake eyes. That's a V1 snake eyes. These are nice figures. Oh, he's actually kind of heavy. Lots of TMNT in there. That's a mask. My buddy Travis would like this glass here. It's got all this uh, vintage Power Ranger stuff in it. Big old Wampa. Oh, look at that. We got the green version of Psych Hill. Looks like it might be incomplete though. Hulk Hogan Thumb Wrestler, Spider-Man. Oh, there's Face from the A-Team. There's some Dungeons and Dragons. I think he's, uh, top part of his helmet here is kind of snapped off, but that's a good price for him, $10. Even though this piece is broken off, still a real good deal. I'm half tempted to get him. Beetlejuice, 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 Beetlejuice. Oh, there's some more masks. I haven't seen this one before. These kind of look like stompers. I don't know if they are or not. It says Rough, rough Riders. All right, so I guess, <clears throat> guess maybe they're called Rough Riders? Look at that GoBot. I had a friend that had this when I was a kid. It actually has like a little driver in there. What's he asking for this? 20 bucks. Might pick that up for 22. I don't know. We'll see. I've got a, got a little bit of a budget here, so we'll definitely pick up something today. But I gotta look through everything first. Let's see what I wanna grab. Some California raisins. I hear swamp thing couple of him actually. I've got this version. I don't have this version. And I think these are uh, cops. Cops and robbers or something like that. Crops, cops and criminals. I can't remember the name of it. I'm pretty sure that's from the cops line. Oh, it's Pugsley. Got some Rambo here. Some Robin Hood, some real Ghostbusters. Oh, here's some Visionaries. Dick Tracy, the Tramp. And I don't know who that guy is, but he's kind of neat looking. Some more California Raisins. Pirates of Dark Water, some more Rambo, Battle Troll, here's some uh, Police Academy, more Dick Tracy, Lips, and I, I think his name is like, is it Rat, I think, or something? I don't know, it kind of looks like a little rat with this little pencil thin mustache. I don't know what that's from. It's neat though. Lots of Dick Tracy actually. There's more Tisha. 
some more Beetlejuice. Here's some more Beetlejuice here. Dick Tracy. What is this, like a yo-yo? Hey, it's like a Wonder Woman yo-yo. Oh, look, we got some Willow down here. I don't have this guy with the beard. I've got a Mad Mardigan, but I don't have this version of Willow. I actually have the Mail Away Willow. And then there's like Willow's wizard mentor buddy. I can't remember his name. Here's some more. I think I've got all these ones. Yeah. yeah I've got those. Captain. Uh, Captain Power. That's Lieutenant Tank Ellis. And we got Captain Power here. We've got Lord Dread. But I don't see Matt Masterson in there anywhere. And then, I don't know what these guys are. Maybe you guys can help me out in the comments below. It looks like he's supposed to be dressed up like a knight. Oh, there's the Karate Kid. Mr. T as Clubber Lang. I've got him fully complete, actually. Some more real Ghostbusters. Oh, look at this. Hong Kong Fui, number one super guy. Chicky chong, chicky chong, and a bow, wow, wow. Oh, that's awesome. Battle Beasts, oh wow. So I got this one, I don't have him. I don't have him, I don't have him. I don't have him. I don't have him. I had this one as a kid, but I don't have him as an adult. Yeah, actually, I don't think I have any of these. Well, except for this first one. Oh, yeah. The moose I have. So many battle beasts. Oh, I like that one. A little bat. Gosh, man, I feel like they just keep going on forever back here. There's some doubles of the ones we just saw. I had this one as a kid, too. He's like an armadillo, I think. We got muscle. One of the muscle ones I need is the hand. There's one, it's like, it's like a hand that has like eyeballs on the fingertips. He's kind of expensive, though. He normally runs about 40 to 50 bucks on eBay, so I've never pulled the trigger on him, but there's lots of muscle here. Oh, I got some, I think some superpowers. Soups with his cape, Green Lantern, The Flash. I don't know who that guy is. And then we got this guy. I don't know who he is either. Aquaman. Robin in the back. And who's this guy? He's got a couple of him. I think that's, that one there is Apocalypse, right? See guys, I'm learning. I'm learning. I don't always know who people are, but because of all of you helping me out over the years, I've learned a thing or two. Lex Luthor, Green Arrow. Sin City. Oh, there's all kinds of Sin City here, actually. And what do we got over here on card? That looks like Pamela Anderson. Oh, it is Pamela Anderson. Got the tick. Got the last action hero. Oh, Dirk from Dragon's Lair. I've got him. I've got him and I've got Princess Daphne and I've got Singe. 
I have Daphne and I've got Dirk on card. Singe is loose, but that Mordrock, or yeah, Mor Mordrock, I don't have him. Oh, there he is right there. Let's see, what's he asking for him? 30 bucks, that's not bad. It's, I think that's about what they normally go for, so that's price good. Oh, this ET is so cool. I love that he's like made out of like a foam rubber. We got the little tick minis. I've got a bunch of these. Picked them up at a yard sale earlier this year. He's back here. Oh, look at that. It's the juggernaut, like without his helmet. See this. Yeah. Check this out. We just got all these modern transformer titans. Oh, whoa. Are you really? Oh, well, look at all these. Wow. Oh, this is amazing. Small heels, really they look right. Yeah, they do. We were just discussing, like, what if these were out when we were kids? Like, I know, not, right? <laughs> Could you imagine? Two, two to three feet tall. I was gonna say, could you imagine taking that to school? <laughs> Couldn't hide it. Trying to shove it in your backpack. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Now Trepticon sitting correctly. Wow. Look at that. That's a just just a gold. It is. And what's this guy's name? Uh, this is Metroplex. This is no, this technically is... the first. Okay. Um, Titan. Okay, gotcha. Um, both times, G1 and in the. Okay. Remakes. This um, guy actually has like a weapon. Black Zarek. Almost impossible to find the G1 version because of gold plastic something. And this is a G1? No, this one is the remake that they actually did as a repaint from the Scorponaut mold, okay. which sadly we don't have. My first okay. so awesome. we had a boxed Black Zarek. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, G1. Do you remember what it you sold, sold it for? It sold for a thousand. Did it really? In, two, in it 2013? Sealed, but it, yeah, it sold for a thousand. <laughs> wow. How much do they go for now? Probably the same or more. Okay. I always find that G1s are pretty steady with their prices. I always tell people they're good investments because they don't really fluctuate that much, in yeah. my opinion. You know? So they go up and they kind of hold their yeah. value there. And Right, yeah. I feel like I'm pricing the G1s the same as I was 10 years ago. Yeah. It's just so cool. Yeah, dude. Did these just came in today? Um, in the last few weeks, we've just been trying you to catch up. Bring them in and get them priced and all yeah, that, yeah. Back. Wow. Some of them have been in the back, yeah. That just looks amazing. It does look amazing, dude. Impressive. Some kid with Freak of Santa brought him these. <laughs> I know, right? They just look like an awesome gift. And you want it scale. Yeah, I don't oh. think people realize how huge these are in the video. I see pop off. Mm -hmm. Wow, they're almost as tall as us on the counter. <laughs> I know, so right? <laughs> What's this? Do you have? Do you sell a lot? Like, do you have any like uh, wax pack cards and stuff like that? Not really a card place. We just happened to buy this with a bunch of toys, but there's some really rare ones in there. Yeah. I had a card guy appraise this book at three hundred bucks. Wow! So it's pretty fun. Yeah. Definitely not my wheelhouse. Oh, let's go. Cool yeah, very cool to have. I've, like, I didn't even know that, like, I mean, I just learned recently, like, those old vintage Star Wars cards. Oh, yeah. Apparently, like. They can be good. Yeah. If you have there, full sets. There's one called the, uh, the C-3PO boner error. <laughs> So it's a C-3PO, <laughs> but like there's like this big metal like boner coming off of them. <laughs> it's funny, <laughs> but uh, it's worth like, I want to say, I think it sells for like three, four hundred bucks by itself or wow. something like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. I hate it when that happens, R2. That's what he just said. <laughs> Yeah. 
You do a pretty good impression of 3PO. <laughs> I have a lot of YouTube comments. <laughs> oh, here's some of those new animated series figures. I think this is the Chase one, if I remember. Somebody on my channel educated me about that. Oh, wow, this Batman Beyond looks incredible. And well, there's the E.T.'s butt. <laughs> we saw that last night. That is so cool. Such a great display piece. Again, these vibrant colors, man, just totally captivate me. I like this one, too. Oh, look at him. I actually have him. I found him at, uh, whatchamacallit, Support Your Troops. I got him for 99 cents. But, you know, you got to put in a lot of time and effort to find stuff like that for 99 cents. I mean, I probably spent 10 bucks in gas <laughs> that day as well, you know. love this pack ah oh, somebody somebody ripped that open that sucks i don't think that was ripped last time i was here oh, look at this bowser Oh, I thought he was making noise. They're actually making the noise over there. I thought it was coming out of him. Oh, wow, look at this little Lego set. That's like a display case like you'd get out of like Target or something like that. Dynamut, Black Falcon, Deluxe box set. Here's that Popeye Deluxe set. This Jay Philly Retro said he's been thinking about pulling the trigger on this on Amazon. I think it comes with four figures. Yeah. Toxic Crusaders. And we've got the Marvel wall over here. DC Multiverse stuff. A lot of these figures I never saw at Walmart or Target. Now, I'm not in Walmart and Target all the time. I spend a lot of my time in thrift stores. But a lot of these I just don't remember seeing while I was there. I remember seeing him and him, Deathstroke. Look at this Robin. Oh, that's not Robin, that's Green Lantern. <laughs> I thought it was Robin. And who's this? Sinestro. All the Supermans are on this, this peg aisle. Captain Cold. What do we got here? Is that Adam? What is this? DC Comics Shame. Shame, I don't remember. I guess he must have been from the Batman TV series. I don't remember him, though. And then here we've got all the uh, origin stuff. Masters of the Universe muscle. Oh, that's got Mecha Neck. Is that supposed to be He-Man, maybe? And Battle Cat? Doesn't really say. This guy is kind of, this beast man reminds me of the mold that they did for the, like the Burger King or McDonald's toy. They look almost identical. Oh, look at this trap jaw. Well, this isn't trap jaw. It says Mythic Legion. Mythic Legions, but that looks just like trap jaw. 
What's he want for that one? $79.99. That is super cool. I never saw this one in stores. Robot He-Man. And we got Frozen Tila. We got regular He-Man. Grayskull Hero. Powers of Grayskull. That's a great looking sorceress. I like that one. Oh, look at this uh, Skeletor. Oh, this Tila looks badass too. We got Hordak. Looks like the bubbles coming off this one. Frosta. This was another Hordak. Who do we got here? Hordak. Batros? I don't remember him. We got another She-Ra. Double Mischief. And then we got Mara of Primus. The Diamond Ray of Disappearance. That was a great episode. I don't know who that be little dude is. What's that? You want to see something that I learned? Yeah. What are those? Vintage Masters of the Universe gumball machine what? figures from the 80s. No way. And here's what's cool about them. How much do you think they're worth a piece? <sighs> I would say 10 bucks a piece. I, a lot of times they're 30 to 50 bucks a piece for these. No way. Yeah, I just learned it today. I just wow. got these today and studied them. And Wow, dude. That is crazy. Yeah, there's see one of these. Oh, many yeah, faces. Like made out of rubber. Stratos, oh. He-Man, Tila, Beastman. And is, this, is that Beastman? Let me I think see. so. And Man at Arms. Trying to get it focused. Here I thought, we go. I thought you'd trip out on that because I didn't even know. Yeah, I've never dude. seen these. That is super. I'm, dude, I didn't even know those existed. Yeah, they're pretty cool. I bet a Motu collector would really like that. Have you these. never seen never those seen before? Not, Ten years. Never wow. Seen them. All right. So if you, if you're in, what are you going to price those at? Do you know? I don't know if I could sell them yet. I'm not oh, sure. Okay. I'm a Motu <laughs> I don't take everything home, but the, these right. are pretty rad. I, if I were you, I'd probably take them. I'd home. probably price them at like 20 25 a piece. Or, wow. Or do, you know, maybe 100 bucks for a whole bag of them or something, but yeah. I don't know. They're pretty, I don't know. They're, you know yeah, they're pretty awesome, they're unique, dude. Yeah. yeah, very unique. I've, yeah, I've never seen them. Man, I'll tell you what, though. Like, if, I mean, if I was, I don't even remember seeing them as a kid because, like, yeah, so I, I would have. They're apparently been, gumball machine. I would have been toys. pumping quarters in the machine oh, yeah. like crazy trying to get those. Yeah. Wow, dude. That's awesome. But I thought those were something really different. Yeah, no doubt. I like these a lot. See, Jaden's is always getting stuff that's different. And it blows my like, mind how I, I still get toys that I've never seen before. Yeah. Like, all the time. Yeah. You'd think I've seen it all by now, but I haven't. Yeah, especially, you know, this is Learned your life. This is your business. <laughs> every day. I didn't, I've never known about these. Get one more last shot. Check those out. Wow. And if you got any info on these, comment, because we all would like to. Yeah, if well. you guys know anything about those, leave a comment below. Oh, you got some Thundercats, too. Here's some Snarfs. Snarf, Snarf. I had this when I was a kid. I, I think it was like a, I think he held a, it was like a pencil topper. So you, you slid your pencil through there, if I recall. My brother actually has this guy. So my brother bought this guy, but I found the helmet in one of those big boxes like I buy at Thrift Giant. It had a bunch of 80s toys in it, and it had this helmet, and uh, I gave it to my brother since he had the figure. Jackalman, Monkeyan, Mumra, Tigra. Where are you, Tiger? There we go. And then we've got 
pan throw back there. Whoops. There he is. Vultureman. Yeah, I actually uh, found him in that same box that I found this. And then we've got Slide. The one guy I don't remember is this guy here in the back. I can't, it's probably like, you know, like Walrus Man or something like that. I remember him from, and I just don't remember his name. So maybe you guys can help me out with that as well. Oh, here's some more Thundercats up here. This is like the He-Man Masters of the Universe crossover edition where they made them like He-Man bodies. I wouldn't necessarily call that a crossover, but they just use the He-Man body mold. Oh, look at this Mumra. Chitara. I like this Conan too. Bag of miscellaneous figures, maybe? Lots of like Star Wars over here. These aren't vintage. I think they're like Power of the Force figures or something. funny i found him in a thrift store but i opened the card and check it out he sells for like 30 bucks i didn't know that at the time well here's some of those hasbro figures over here the ones that i'm kind of leaning towards wanting to buy a few of these maybe not today but i just think these hasbro figures are so cool this piper is awesome I wonder if they have like a King Kong Bundy. There's the Honky Tonk Man. Do they have a Bundy in here? You know, that's one LJN figure. They're LJN Wrestling Superstars that I don't have is Bundy. I'll have to try and pick him up at some point. Beast machines. I will take one for him. I don't have him. Forty bucks. It's a cool looking sound wave. Oh, look, it's hound. Or uh, Transformer Pretenders, right? Nice. He's doing a little commercial for his Instagram over there. 
60% off at the mall. The Jaden's Toys at the Stonebriar Mall this weekend, 60% off. Hey, Jaden, did you just say 60% off at the Stonebriar location? So I refilled another two, 300 box and carded items at our Stonebriar Center Mall location. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, this week, 60% off everything. And the prices are already marked down. So it's, so it's got to yeah. come see it. Marked down 60, plus like an we extra 60% off. We did 50% off. off sale last weekend and made more than we made on Black Friday weekend. Oh, did you which really? Which is saying something. Yeah. So, and there's still a lot of good stuff there. If you've been there, there's more stuff. Like I just put a lot more uh, uh, Motu Origins, uh, Super Sentai, uh, Japanese, the Power Ranger okay. Japanese stuff. Uh, some Zords like that. I mean, there's a lot of stuff there, and of course, it's overstocked. Some people commented on from last week. Man, I was looking for such such. such. I'm like, I'm obviously not gonna put G1 Transformers. <laughs> yeah, right, come on, it's man. Six <laughs> but it's our overstock stuff, and we're we're taking it out of storage and filling that store up and using the Christmas time here to yeah. blow it out. And it's good stuff. Yeah. So you, I mean, sixty percent off. Come yeah. On. That what, what is that? It'll take a twenty dollar figure down to eight. Yeah. And most of our six inch figures are already priced at fifteen. So, yeah. I mean, there's going to be essentially 5 to $7 to items. Stock up for Christmas, right? <laughs> yeah, dude, come on. Yeah. 60% and is that Friday, gonna, Saturday, Sunday. Friday, Saturday, weekend. Sunday. Yeah. All right, guys, make sure you, make sure you check it out. And uh, when, you go to Jay, when you go to the store, tell them Burf sent you. <laughs> and then you only get 40% off. <laughs> <laughs> I see how you are. All right. You'll lose money. <laughs> Yes, all four of his followers. I want you all, all four of you guys. Well, one of them is his mom. But right. The, other, the three actual collectors that are following his page. <laughs> oh, that's I'm funny. Just, I know, dude. That's funny. You have a bigger reach than I do. <laughs> just, well, I hope I can send a little traffic your way, man, because you got no, such he's got, you've he's got, got such great stuff. Have, like, thank you. Yeah, I had some people comment on the last video that they made it here and over at the mall. Whoops. You need to say your name more because most people are like, yeah, man, I was watching this guy's video. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, is your name this guy? I was watching this guy's video. This guy's video. Yeah, you said, I think you said Nark and them were here yeah, last weekend here. or something like that, right? Boston Mike, Nark, they were here um, for a little while. They didn't get to look at everything. And I think they had somewhere else to be, but they, yeah. they were digging it. Cool, man. Yeah, I think they're coming back too. Yeah, I think I saw um, he had posted a reel uh, on YouTube, uh, YouTube short. I think he uh, usually he'll post like a short and then he'll have the full length video like in a day or two. So I'm excited. Oh, yeah. to, were they in here filming? Yeah, they were filming a little bit. Like they yeah. weren't here long. Yeah. It's a lot of stuff. I mean, this place has a lot. Yeah, stuff. right. It takes, it takes a minute. And we'll be doing a Christmas Eve sale here. I'm just not sure exactly what it'll be. Oh, really? It'll be 60% off. 60% off. What are your hours we're Christmas Eve? Um, I think we're going to do 12 to 6 on Christmas Eve. Okay. Maybe a little earlier, but I'm going to do my best. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I'm not sure exactly what the sale will be, but it will be good. Yeah. <sighs> I really need a deep six. I don't have a deep six. I don't think I have it. Whoops. I keep dropping these guys. I don't think I have an Alpine. I don't have to double check on that. Oh, it's Breaker. That's actually a really good price on him. Isn't he? 15 bucks, and he's got his helmet and his backpack and his like telecom stuff there. That is yeah, that's actually a nice figure. He's got both thumbs. The crotch doesn't appear to be, no, the crotch isn't broken either. Wow, that's a nice figure for 15 bucks. What's this one? Huh. 
what year that is because like the snake eyes I have is black this one's like in a blue suit this might be a newer version sometimes I have a hard time telling uh, we got some power rangers over here definitely gonna pick this guy up deep six for ten bucks look at this guy who's that isn't he neat he must be some sort of power ranger i'm assuming he's with all the power ranger stuff got some real ghostbusters i'm thinking about getting this future machine go bot Oh, I don't have him in my collection. Oh, wait a minute. They did Master of the Universe in a newspaper mm -hmm. comic? I don't remember it. Wow. Uh, wow, dude. I wonder where they print. Like, I'm from Pennsylvania originally. That's where I grew up. I don't remember ever seeing He-Man no, in the in the I don't either. In the, You can get a lot more backstory and stuff out of oh, these. Oh, so when they say comic strip, they mean like from the comic books or like it was in the newspaper? I think it, it's implying newspaper, isn't it? That's what I, that's what I thought when they that's say comic question. strips. The newspaper comic strip. Yeah, it says newspaper. Yeah. Wow. I almost want to like scan it. Or scan it. Yeah. I love toy history. Me too. You know, like they have that Netflix. That. I wish I they would do more it. of those actually. You know, the, the toys that made toys us that sort made of us, thing. Yeah. Yeah, that is awesome. I bought, uh, you know, Pixel Dan? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he did like a whole book on... Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. I have that book in my house. Yeah, I bought it too. So over the bad. summer, actually. I love this. Oh, look at that. It looks like Ram Man on the Adkins diet. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Cut you off guard with that one. <laughs> oh, yeah, the artwork's just awesome. This is so cool. That is very cool. Yeah, we just got this. This is really pretty red. What are you asking for this? 50 bucks. Okay. Super cool, man. Hardback. It's really cool. Yeah, you got so much great stuff in here. Dude, I've never in all these years had so many toys I've seen. Oh, yeah? Like, this location is getting tons. That's good. Oh, here's the vintage He-Man. Let's see, is there anybody in here that maybe I need? Oh, there's Morticia and Gomez from the cartoon, from the 80s cartoon. Oh, look at this California raisin. Oh, he's like a Christmas ornament or something. Oh, that is so cool. I've never seen one that big before. Uncle Fester. Oh, there's like the uh, Universal Monsters Frankenstein. And this guy is from Swamp Thing as well. Also thinking about this. So it's pretty amazing that it still has this plastic piece. This thing breaks off. It's so fragile. It is so fragile. Maybe I can get some kind of deal on that. I might ask him, hey, man, you work me a deal on this? <laughs> it's pretty sweet. Oh, man, who remembers army ants? I've got a bunch of these at the house, man. I loved these things as a kid. I played with them all the time. All kinds of vintage Star Wars. I have a bunch of these die cast figures. I can't remember what they're called. Uh, but yeah, I have a whole bunch of these actually.
Holy cow, that was a lot of vintage goodies. So I did pick up a couple of items. So let's do a little show and tell. All right, gang, this is what I picked up from Jaden's. I got the GI Joe Mobile Missile Command. And how awesome is that? It even has like, you know, the dashboard thingy over here and even the, uh, the, uh, the power line is actually there as well, uh, which is really rare. I, that might be a reproduction, I don't know. I would imagine a lot of those are just because it's pretty fragile. It feels like it could snap at any moment. So with that being said, considering how fragile it does feel, it could be the original, I don't know. But uh, man, it looks freaking awesome. And here are some of my Joes. We got Grunt in the green uniform and then Grunt here in the brown. And we've got Rock and Roll, who I just picked up a week or two ago at Jaden's. And I picked up Deep Six today as well. So I got finally got a Deep Six. I did not have him. And then we've got Clutch, who's normally, you know, manning the vamp, but now he's commanding the commanding the surface to air guns. And then we've got the refrigerator, William Perry, that I picked up at the GI Joe show over the summer. So this is just some of my Joe collection, but super stoked to be adding the MMS to my collection. It was definitely a piece I needed. Man, I love that toy store. He has got, that. that is by far his best store yet. I had been to the store at the Music City Mall. I'd been over to Stonebriar, but this store takes the cake, like so much vintage goodness. And he's got more new stuff coming. He said he's got new stuff coming every week. So if you haven't been to Jaden's Vintage Toys in Plano, it's off of Parker Road definitely go check it out. Hey, if you enjoyed watching this content as much as I enjoyed making it for you, do me a favor, smash the like button. And if you want to watch more videos just like this, check out this next video.